Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Will, I'm the owner of Shop Will Beauty, and after many requests, I am back with another wig video. So I've had a lot of different requests, some for how to put on a wig, how to tease a wig, how to restore a wig, tons of different things, but I've also gotten a lot of questions on how to style ponytails. I got like four questions about ponytails today, so I decided it was just like in the universe to show you guys one of my favorite styles, which is a ponytail. So before we get into ponytails, while you're here, you might as well just click that subscribe button right below. It's super easy, it takes one second, and while you're at it, why don't you just click that notification bell so you can see when all of my videos are posted and get a little push notification as soon as it happens. I also am on Instagram, I'm at shopwillbeauty, that's my wig page where I post wigs every single day. If you want to get some wig spiration, hair spiration, whatever you want to call it, girl. If you need a wig, you can reach out to me there. If you want to see my makeup and nails and all my other non-wig work, it's at willbeautyofficial. Totally follow me, join the fam, we're here to slay dolls. Alright, so, today you are going to need a couple things. So, you're going to need a wig stand, a good one. I've broken four so far, but this is the first one I got, and she's still holding up, and I dread her because she's, like, also, like, a real mess, but hey, if you can last out all the other ones, then I'm here for it. You're gonna need two wigs of the same color. These wigs are my Bridget style in the color 613 Platinum Blonde. It's a gorgeous yellow Platinum Blonde. It's one of my favorite colors that we produce. You're gonna need hair pins, hair clips. You're gonna need weaving thread and a weaving needle. It's really important that you have the right needle because a straight needle will make this very difficult and a lot more time and you will risk stabbing yourself. Trust me, I've tried. You're gonna want some hair elastics and some tiny little zip ties. And then obviously you're gonna need the hairspray and teasing brush. You're also going to want a really sturdy, full-size wig head. Girl, when you're doing a ponytail or really any wig styling, I don't care who it's for, do not be running around styling on one of these itty-bitty heads. Unless you're making a wig for a little kid, do not. Let me show you why. Do you see how small? No one's head looks like this. Trash. I only use those for wig storage. Um, if I'm sending a really intricate wig or just something if I need to plop a wig on for a few minutes But by no means do I ever style on one of those wigs I only ever style on canvas wig heads whether they're styrofoam filled or cork filled Which is the old school you need a wig head. That's the proper size. Do you see how big these are? So when you're gonna buy a wig head make sure you're measuring the circumference of your head mine is 22 and a half inches So I have wig heads of all different sizes, but when I style wigs for myself I usually just go for a 23 inch. It's better to go a little bigger than a little smaller You can get wig heads as small as 21 inches Or as big as or even bigger than 24 inches and do you see the size difference? 24 inches and 21 inches, it's a big difference. For today, I'm gonna to be using a 24 inch wig head because when you're using a ponytail, you're pulling on things really tight, you're sewing things into each other. It's better to go a lot bigger than your normal head size because if you just do it on the same head size as yourself and you're not really careful, you run the risk of pulling too tight and making the wig too small. Trust me, it's happened to me, it's happened to clients when I've made things way too snatched and they can't wear them. So. I always do a ponytail or a stacked ponytail on the biggest wig head I can find, which is 24 inches. You guys, I'm like six foot three, so that's how tall this wig head stand can go, which is sickening. We don't need her this tall, so let's bring her down a little bit. So now we have our two wigs. Like I said, they're both the style of Bridget in the color 613 Platinum Blonde. You're gonna take your first wig and block her down on the wig head. Save your plastic bags. For a little later and you'll see why we're recycling over here at shop will beauty no plastic is wasted no hairnet is wasted no tissue is wasted in my styling studio we have minimal waste so plop your wig on get her nice and situated pull everything far down we want to pull everything we're gonna pull everything really far down and as far as we can so we reduce any risk of the ponytail shrinking the wig because the last thing you want is to get a gorgeous wig in the mail 
or make a gorgeous wig and put all this work in and not be able to put it on because you pulled too tight and now it's too small. And I'm pinning very far away from where I would ever be cutting the lace because we don't want to run any risk of having like little holes or tears close to the hairline. The nice thing about doing a ponytail with a brand new wig is you can pin really far down and anchor that wig in and it doesn't really matter if you rip or tear the lace an inch or more away from the hairline. I mean, anyone who's wearing their lace too long is either on Broadway or needs a lesson in wigs because I hate seeing a long, crusty, munch munch, crunch crunch lace. So now for the back, I'm going to pull it super far down because again we are snatching this wig. And to make sure it's nice and anchored, I put one down from above and then one going from underneath so it's anchored in both directions and we don't have to worry about it coming undone. So now we are ready to ponytail the wall. So if you want, you can go in and tease it a little bit. I used to do that with that IQ Kitty kind of style, but um, I just didn't really like how it looked. I find it kind of, I don't know, it's too campy for me to have that bump and then another bump. I'm here for more of like a nice sleek hairline with a big ponytail, that's more my vibe. So for this actual order, I have some customizations added. There's some braids in the front that go into the ponytail. First, I'm gonna show you the first step without doing that, and then I'm gonna go back and have to do the things for the specific order that you totally don't have to do. But you can also watch if you wanna learn how you might be able to customize and make your wig a little bit more unique. So, first what I'm going to do, so the first section you're gonna take goes from either temple up to the crown of the head. So now that we have this section, this is pretty much the point at which you're going to be anchoring your ponytail. So it's really important to have it high up on the head, almost at the top center of the head. Then what I do is take either side of the ponytail like so, and pull taut. Now you have the one ponytail, and this is gonna be the anchor that you attach the rest of the hair to, and that you attach the other wig to. So it's really important to make sure the placement of this ponytail is right on the top of the head. So once you're happy with that, you can spritz her, and then um, use your blow dryer to just make her nice and sleek, and you can move on. Now, this is gorgeous, but I have to customize this for a customer. So if you don't care about like seeing any customization, just skip over the next minute or two. But if you wanna see what I'm gonna do to make this a bit more sickening, keep on watching. So my customer requested this specific style from my Instagram and my website. So that's what I'm gonna do for her. So if you guys wanna see how I do this, it's really simple. You just need to know how to do a simple braid and you'll get right into it. So I'm gonna take a section right in the middle Big enough to make a substantial braid. I'm gonna take some clear elastics. Just have those handy. And I'm just gonna do a very simple, basic braid with three sections. All right, and then once you have your braid all done, just a very simple braid, let me zoom in. You can see right here, just a very simple braid. You don't even need to do it all the way down the hair because this is going to go way past where the ponytail starts. And just add a clear elastic to secure her in place. So I'm just going to do two more braids on either side and I'll be right back. So here we are with the three braids and they're all good, giving us some really minor Danny Targaryen vibes. And next we're just gonna basically do the same thing we did last time pulling up that hair, except we're gonna take these three braids and we're gonna just clip them out of the way. So we're gonna take the same section as before, okay? We have our ponytail once again, like so. And now, I'm just gonna brush away any hairs that aren't a part of the ponytail. I'm gonna douse this hairline with some 
Got to Be Glued Hairspray. And then I'm gonna take any old hair dryer and smooth this out and set her into place. Next, we're gonna take these three braids. Then we're gonna take a little clear elastic, not that you can see it, and just work these into that ponytail so it's all together. Now we're gonna pull this whole ponytail section forward and then we're gonna take the rest of this hair and put this into the ponytail as well. So now we have a nice anchor up here that's super tight and secure to put this hair into to make a base for our big stacked hair. Now, this is realistically going to be hidden by the hair that falls, but it's good to get it as neat as you can. I'm now gathering all the hair together. Separate the hair and pull to make it nice and tight. And you want to make sure that the ponytail is centered. For extra security, I'll take two little zip ties, like the smallest ones you can find at Home Depot. Put them together. Put them around this ponytail. And pull as tight as you can. And that's just for some extra security. So now we have our hair gathered into a cute little ponytail. Next, we have to put all this hair up into a bun to serve as the foundation to attach the second wig to. So it doesn't need to be anything special. Just get all that hair in a nice bun. Get her on top of the head. I'm going to take some extra long bobby pins and just start pinning into this bun. I just do two on each side because then I take a hairnet, one of the ones that the wig comes with, and I wrap it around this bun. Like so. And then using these big guys, the extra long pins, I just go around the perimeter, making sure the bun is pinned into the wig. Now we go back in with the hairspray and just smooth everything because the way hair is sewn onto the weft, a lot of hair can just like poke out. We don't want any of that. So I just want to make a quick disclaimer. When you are doing a ponytail, you have two options of what to do with your top wig. If you can find a hard front, if you can find a hard front wig in the same exact color, that's a great option to use as a ponytail, although they tend to not be as good quality, you can definitely do that. You can cut off the lace and remove all the combs and little bungees that are in a wig if you just want to sew it in and use it as a ponytail forever. However, to save time and allow my customers and clients to reuse their hair for different purposes, I fold the lace. The uncut lace is folded under. Just like that. And then I just pin that right into the ponytail. I put it right on top of that bun. And I pin right through that folded lace into the wig head right in front of that bun. So we just have one pin in right there and that's all we're gonna do for now. That's because we are going to take the plastic bag and the tissue that the wig came in, and depending on how big you want the ponytail, 
You can add extra bags and tissues. If you don't have any of these, you can just use a garbage bag, paper towels, honestly, whatever's laying around. And you're gonna lift up in here and stuff that stuff, stuff that stuff into your ponytail. Just to give it some extra oomph in there without needing so much teasing. The next thing I'm going to do is just go around the entire wig. And what I typically do in the back is I'll fold it under a little bit or do whatever I need to do so it's nice and tight around that bun and there's not any like anything hanging below the bun. I want it nice and taut. And just kind of get your wig pinned around that ponytail. So take your weaving thread, you can get it in whatever color matches your hair or the wig cap. So I'm going to take my needle and thread starting at this one side, go through the stacked wig into the wig structure of the bottom wig and pull and make sure that that thread is nice and anchored in that top wig. And then I go through again and there you go. Now you are securely anchored into both wigs and they are together. And then it's just really easy. I just go along, pin through one wig into the bottom wig. Don't just pin through the hair, like pin into the wefting or the structure of the wig beneath. And then I just kind of weave right through and then make sure everything is nice and neat. It doesn't have to look perfect here because we're going to cover it with a little braid or a headband or a bow. Give it a little slack because if you pull it too tight, you risk making the wig below tight and like too small. If you see him pulling really tight, everything is constricting. That would just make the whole thing too tight and it would probably be too small for someone's head. So just be wary. Make sure you're nice and secure without being too tight. Here we go. We're almost right back to the end. So I like to overlap by a few stitches, especially if I have some extra slack left on my thread. When I'm ready to close the knot and finish this, I just loop it around a few times in one spot. I take the two ends and just tie a few knots just to be extra safe. And now she is a ponytail. Like You could just rock her and go with a headband. I am going to tease it a little bit and I'll show you how I just do a little bit light teasing. And then I add a braid on each side to conceal the connecting place where the two wigs meet. So really quickly, and then I take this front front section and I just add a light base tease doll. Nothing crazy. We're not going crazy with this. This client didn't want like a huge campy big ponytail. We're going for some natural fish over here but still drag. So I'm just taking a few sections. Concentrate most of my teasing at the base or the root of the hair. So now that I have everything teased out, I'm just going to smooth it all out with my teasing brush. Okay, so here she is, gorgeous as can be. Finally, I'm going to remove those pins from the wig. From the bottom of the ponytail, I'm going to take a section of hair and I'm going to do one final braid. So we've got our braid ready to go. I always go in and kind of pull it apart to make it extra wide. 
Next, I'm just going to take a couple hairpins like these, not bobby pins. And I'm going to add just a few to really anchor this ponytail in. And finally, we're going to take this nice big braid. And honestly, what I do is find a little hole in the wig from the stitching, feed it into that side, of pin it shut with a hairpin. I always like to make sure that this braid is pinned into place. So I always turn it upside down and just find a way to work the bobby pin in there without it showing in the wig. Do a last bit of hairspray. And there you go. You have a gorgeous, stunning ponytail. When you put her on a real head, it just like, the volume just like intensifies so much more. But she is really secure. The ponytail is not going anywhere. You can dance with her and flip her and she's totally good. So y'all might think I'm done with her, but this wig is extra. So we have one final touch that is gonna make this the gayest wig ever. And that doll's is glitter. So for this style, I actually have glitter between the braids, just a little bit around here to add that extra oomph to the wig. So I'm gonna quickly show you how I attach glitter to a wig. Um, and if you guys want like a really in-depth video of how to do glitter wigs, you can comment below to let me know. But I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I would add a little glitter to this wig to give it that next level look. So I'm gonna take some hair gel, the got to be glued hair gel. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just dab it in between these braids and then like on the braids themselves because the glitter will stick to like certain places and give the braid a lot more dimension and I'm actually even gonna add some to here. Braids are always a great spot or roots are a great spot for glitter so you don't always get it like all up in your head. So I'm actually gonna take a garbage bag and just pin it so I don't get glitter all over this wig. Hair gel is in there. I take this glitter and I just tap it. in the area so it's nicely distributed and then I just go in and pat it around try not to like pour it out <laughs> you will regret it and it's gonna be like soaking wet with glue or gel or whatever you want to call it so take your hair dryer and blow dry this until it's not tacky or wet anymore. All right, dolls, and that will finish up this sickening ponytail with customized braids and glitter. I am so obsessed. I want to put her on right now. Oh, wait, I actually wore a style just like this on my Instagram. Yeah, she was really cute. So, just like nothing makes me as happy as a gorgeous ponytail wig. It just really gives you that snatched, lifted, dragged out look, and I'm so obsessed. Alrighty guys, so that's it for this video. If you loved it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comments, questions, or video suggestions can be left in the comment box below. Let me know what other wig videos you want me to show you. I'm so happy to share the knowledge and show you guys how to put on my wigs and style them and do tons of sickening things. Did you start to do this thing that was too difficult for yourself? Or maybe you looked at this video and thought like, oh my god, I could never do it. Great thing is, I'm a wig designer, so if you want to have me style one of these wigs for you, head to shopwheelbeauty.com, head to the custom styles section, and find our sickening ponytails, or just DM me on Instagram at shopwheelbeauty, or email me at info at shopwheelbeauty.com. There's tons of ways to get in contact with me. I'm sure you can figure it out. Alrighty, dolls, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!